Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back along to another episode of The Young Farmer. My name is Andy, as always, and you join us a little bit later on from the last video there actually, but we are cracking along. We've uh, we finished, we're breaking down some ground there this morning. I came back to have a little bit of a look at the uh, at the spring barley that we're jumping into, into that propino there, and even had a little bit of nibble of it and it's looking good. What we now need to wait for, I'm stuck with a full half after about one and a little bit of a headland, so... Uh, what I thought I would try and do is be a bit cheeky, I've brought the baler down now, on the 8.30, and we're just going to park this on the side of the field, so as soon as we can, I'm going to go into this entrance here actually, um, as soon as we can get onto it, either myself or Chris here will jump on in and get going. You can see we've got Chris in the new 8.70 action, cracking along just there. Doing his thing, making a bit of progress since we left him this morning there. He's got a few more acres under his belt and he looks like he's flying along, making a bit of dust as well, which is always fantastic to see. Uh, combine is parked up, we're still waiting for the trailer. Um, trailer man is on his way apparently, so we'll see how that one looks. And then Anthony is still doing his thing as well. You can probably just see him hiding up that hedge over there actually in that field, so that's looking good. Uh, certainly get to see him a little bit clearer. There he is. Uh, so yeah, we're going to leave them to do their things, really. And we'll probably just park this up here. Uh, the idea being as well, if we get the opportunity to do it, I want to get this bailed today. Um, and then we can try and get it cleared later on in the week when we've got a bit of a damp spell. So that's what I'm thinking. My handbrake on, park that up. But yeah, right now we are just kind of waiting for the... I believe it's a fast track that's coming. I'm not too sure. Uh, but you can see we've got to start... We've got one headland done, uh, and then about, what's that, maybe 100 yards. Uh, and it was coming in around about just under 17%, which I was surprised at. It really dropped down that wind today, must be doing a world of good. But it's, uh, it's really dropped down since we checked it this morning. And, yeah, we just need to kind of wait right now and uh, wait for the my trailer man to arrive. And as soon as he gets here, we'll be laughing, uh, and then we'll get going. This field shouldn't take us too long to do, especially if we've got someone that continuously... Uh, carton for us there so we don't need to worry about that uh, that would be the dream uh, and we'll see how we get going but yeah otherwise it's looking like a fairly decent crop there are areas where it's not so good um, and it's kind of there's a few wet spots around the the headlands really where it just didn't get away uh, in the spring there it just wasn't good enough so we there are areas that we've had to sacrifice a little bit now we're aware of that and it's you know it is what it is but we'll uh for the most part, it's not looking too bad at all. Uh, a few weeds have come back through. We did kill everything off here, but yeah, there's a few areas, which is this, where they've come back through again, which is a little frustrating, but we'll um, we'll have to have a look into that one and, and see why when we when we when that kind of came through. We have had some good growing weather recently with the warm temperatures and the, the occasional rain showers, so maybe that's been a, a big reason behind it. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But otherwise, yeah, combine is all dialed in, ready to go. Uh, the boys are working along there nice and... Ooh, there's our trailer man. Look at that. We'll get ourselves in there. That is a fast track. They weren't wrong. Fantastic news. So, yeah, Anthony, like I say, is just trimming up the hedges and the insides of all these fields around here today. We're going to jump into the combine then. We'll get this fella uh, loaded. And we'll see how we're looking. Okay, hey, we'll... Probably, if he wants to stay just there, I'm happy to do that. I'm just going to go and hang on over and see him and get him filled up. Not much space in here yet at the moment, but he seems keen to kind of stay where he is. That's one thing. Okay, awesome. Very nice looking uh, trailer, that one as well, actually. There we go. We'll fill from the back, as we always like to do first. Perfect stuff. Nice to be able to see the boys working as well. So we're all kind of clustered into one group here. I did go away and break down uh, or work over a small field with the Vardestad on. Uh, it didn't take us too long to do at all, about an hour really. And then we're off and away. So that's all done and dusted. Um, now once Anthony's done all the the field borders here, the next job he's got to go and do is um, he's looking into some verges for the, for the council actually. That's what he's going to be tackling next. So... We'll see how that one gets on for him. Uh, gonna come back to here, fantastic. Right then, we'll just uh, fire everything back up, and off we go again. 
happy yeah. days. But yeah, now that we've got that going there, I mean, it's probably going to be about a load and a half, or a tank load and a half from me to get that get him away again there. This tank's got about eight, eight and a bit ton in there at their full capacity, so it's, uh, yeah, it's not going to take too much there at all. Um, but we'll, we'll get this little field done quickly. We've got this one to do. We're going straight through the hedge into the other one. The great thing is we don't have to take the header trailer uh, over there and take off the header. We can just go straight in, which is going to be perfect. Um, and then we'll look to try and get that one done and move on nice and quickly. Once we finish these two, then it is a disconnect. Clean down the combine. We're heading on up the, up the hillside to the next couple of fields to do. So, uh, yeah, lots of... We should get them all done today. There's no reason why not. The, the, the taking off the header does delay us a little bit, as will every single one of those telegraph poles. But what can you do? That's just the way it is. But, yeah, ultimately... We're, getting, we're flying through it now. Uh, we do have an awful lot of, uh, I think I mentioned in the previous video there, an awful lot of spring crops to get working with, purely just down to the uh, the weather at the moment, really. It's, and the, the weather during the winter last year, we just couldn't get anything drilled. So a lot of the spring drilled crops as a result of that. But we'll uh, we'll we'll take a head on there. This combine's got quite a good capacity and a great output on a daily basis. So as long as the weather stays pretty good, we should be all right to get cracking along a little bit. Uh, we'll have to see how that looks, of course. Um, but yeah, very happy with it all in all. And um, we should get some progress made. We've got a little bit of oil seed rape. We're going to try and get into the ground soon as well for the winter. We always want to try and get that in before like the end of the first week of September, really. So we'll see if we can get that done in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, we're just working over the ground to get that in now. So that should be all right. We'll have to watch this space. Um, and then uh, I'm thinking that either the, the, well, the big Axion's 870 there will probably just go straight onto the horse drill as well. Uh, and we'll get that all plumbed in and, and ready to go as soon as uh, Chris is finished with the tillage work, really. Okay, back we go. Excellent. So you can see there's a few bits along this side in particular here where the where it just didn't uh, establish. There must have been a lot of water line there maybe, but it just never came through. So that's a real pain, but it's, uh, you know, it, it is what it is really. And um, we, I don't think at that point any uh, any further inputs were put onto it once the once the water was lying on there. So farmer can just cut, uh, cut his losses from the beginning. Uh, oh, he does it. But Lower there. Okay. I'm curious to see what kind of uh, cues he's going to get back at the grain dryer again. I know we had quite a bit when we were there the other day, and then it took me about an hour to get through because of the system issue. But a lot of farmers are trying to get on right now, so there'll be a lot of people in the same boat there. And uh, hopefully, he's not got too long of a draw to go on, so uh, we should get back in time. Uh, but you can see it's a little patchy around here as well where it just didn't come through either, so a little bit weird. But yeah, otherwise it's looking like for the most part 99% of this field's a very clean looking crop actually. I don't know what happened here either, uh, it just didn't come through there. How are you all doing, folks? Anyway, I hope everything is fantastic, whatever you're getting up to. Do let us know down below how it's all coming along, what you're working on, as always, while you're driving. And we will be, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing the uh, answers in the in the comments there, for sure. Uh, oh, right, headland number two done. Typically, we will just do the three headlands here with this bigger machine. Uh, gone are the days of the older combines where it's so numb to try and get turned around there that you had to have, like, we used to put... Uh, when my dad was in the combine, we used to put five in uh, because it just couldn't get turned around very quickly. But with these guys here, three is more than enough, really. Really, really is. Trailer boy is not up to much. He hasn't moved at all. Let's see what he wants to do. Yeah, very pleased to see that we've got a, a nice to have all my machines m uh, functioning and, and how it work now there. It was a big push to bring in uh, Anthony and Chris there, but I'm pleased that we did it because it just means that we're conquering so much more now. Uh, able to get ahead of the game, it's just so much better. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that will continue. 
Yeah, you can see Anthony's a pretty smart operator there on the hedge cut. That makes a nice, tidy job. With the hedges inside there, we have been encouraged by the farmer. He doesn't want them to be um, uh, actually cut down. He just wants them to be tidied up so they can encourage the growth uh, upwards more than anything. So we're mainly focusing on just keeping the width in uh, and just encouraging the vertical growth, really. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now what we're going to do is, whilst we're here, looks like well, we're above my eyesight glass, so we'll go and find where our trailer man is, get him full up, and he can get himself away again. Ideally as well, I'd like to get this, uh, as I mentioned, I get this all bailed today, but what we'll probably end up doing is uh, we'll leave it on the deck for a few hours at least, just so we can get uh, a, little bit of, uh, a little bit of a breeze to it. Uh, and then we'll see how it looks from there. A little bit too close there, actually, I think. I want to get the vessel back a bit. That looks like it's a... It's a Marshall trailer there, but it's in the old col uh, Ken Wooten colours, for anyone who remembers that. They were great old trailers back in the day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Lovely, uh, lovely, lovely autumnal day there today. Uh, beautiful just to see all the class tractors in the background there working away there. Really is nice. Could just about fill them up, I reckon. Not far off, but maybe. Oh, he's away. Well, I'll get out of his way as well then. All go in. Don't want to wrap that round the telegraph pole. That would be disastrous. It's been done before, not by myself, but I've heard stories. Once knew a farmer who accidentally reversed into his own combine, into his own trailer. Sorry, that didn't sound very good that day. And yeah, so we're going to just crack on. We'll come back to you when we made a little bit more progress here, I would reckon, and then we'll see how we're looking. Show you uh, what it's all coming in it. Um, the, uh, I'd be curious to find out what the moisture check from the dryer is because usually there's a little bit of a discrepancy between the combine scales and the uh, and what the dryer is so we'll see how that's looking there as well so uh, yeah lots to get cracking on with though no doubt and we'll catch up with you in just a little while well folks this is not a great sign of what is to come we're uh, full again and we still haven't seen the trailer man come back so we are pretty much good indication that the grain dryer is a bit jammed up, to be honest, and uh, we'll have to see what we can do. But uh, yeah, at the moment there, we're just we're struggling. Uh, it's going to be a bit slow. We might have to look at getting another trailer on, or maybe even bring our uh, triple axle down here to uh, just to provide a little bit of like a, a cushion there, really, because otherwise we're going to be stuck here for some time. So we'll see how that all looks. Uh, what I'm probably going to do. Is actually just spin around uh, so I can empty this out pretty quickly because yeah as it is right now though we're pretty stuck so uh, we are it's never ideal it is sometimes just what happens at in the harvest though um, everyone's just trying to get into the same point in the area and it's just proven to be a little bit of a backlog frankly but hey ho uh, we'll see how we get that one done uh, we are as we do this though we'll do is we'll just leave that here for now uh, yeah we'll just leave it over there we're gonna have a little bit of a look at the field that we're coming into next uh, it's a little bit bigger again it is um, littered with telegraph poles as I mentioned there which is never ideal but what can you do uh, we will try and knock it out as quickly as possible this is the biggest field that we've got to do today today after that they're all a little bit smaller like I mentioned earlier they're a bit further afield uh, but yeah, we'll see how that looks. We are also looking into trying to get a bit of uh, muck onto here before we uh, plow this one over or work this one over. Um, and like I say, we want to get this cleared pretty quickly because it is due to go into oilseed rape as well. Um, so we don't have too much time if we want to make a good job of that. We are lots to uh, kind of think about there. But this feels certainly a little bit cleaner than the one over there. Um, what causes that? I don't know yet. We'll have to have a look into it. But yeah, it certainly is a little bit of a, a better looking field. And we can uh, yeah, hopefully 
get this one all turned around nice and quickly get the straw off we have taken all the straw from these two fields so we're getting this bales we'll get them all probably stacked up just down there where the other field is for now it makes me wonder if we should maybe look into some form of bale chaser uh just to try and get this all done quickly but we might see if we can hire one in for a week just to speed things up uh, after that point, then yeah, we can we can see. From that. Oh, fast track's back. Wonderful. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're what we're looking at right now. Well, certainly, as well at the moment, there it does look like it's going to be a good price on straw because there's just not as much of it around. With these crops being a little bit of an exception, because this is quite tall and quite has grown quite well actually in the conditions. A lot of ground out there that isn't looking quite so good. So it might be something that we can definitely. Uh, benefit from by getting as much straw as you can so we have a fortunately we've got a pre previously agreed price on this stuff here because i think if we tried to buy it post all this drought we had over the uh, back end of the spring uh into the summer we'd have been in trouble uh but fortunately that's not where we are anyway uh we are just going to jump on into back on into the new hollander we'll get this emptied out i don't know why i didn't park here some of these trailer drivers these days Get this one emptied out nice and quickly there and get on our way. Perfect. Nice quick auger on this tank as well. It really doesn't take too long to empty it all out. It's not as fast as some of the bigger newer tractors. Uh, new combine, sorry, but yeah, pretty decent nonetheless. I think it should just be about finished off over there now, actually. Uh, we've started to make a few cuts up this far side here, so we're taking the longest length off first, so I mean I would think maybe another Another trailer load and then we'll nearly be done on this field. I would reckon uh, We'll see how we get on though Off we go I think I got halfway down here just about so we'll just Take ourselves back up to where we started from I reckon Try and stick to the same uh, tracks that we already made there. Uh, engage the thresher and the table, and off we go. Yeah, all being well, it shouldn't take us too much longer. We'll get cracking along in no time, we'll get this all buttoned up. But we were going to leave it here for now anyway, so thank you ever so much for watching bit of a short episode just to kind of fill you in on what we're doing but really it's just about getting cracking and trying to get this uh this wave of uh spring barley taken care of really so hopefully we'll get that done uh, and we'll bring you up to speed once we are done and once it's all safely in the grain store so for now we're gonna leave it here thank you ever so much for watching i have been andy a young farmer uh we are keeping busy and we'll give you more updates as soon as we can uh, if you've enjoyed this one, don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button to Simulation for the Nation, and we will see you all in the next one. Until then, have yourself a great day, stay safe, and we'll see you later.